Okay, let's go ahead and try to take that.
fast. Hey gamers. How's it going? Is everybody gaming? Why is there no PP in Silent Hill? Um, what makes you think there isn't? All right, it's time to boot up my my PlayStation. How is everybody? Silent Hill shows your fears. Hope you fear. Hey, Skeleton Club. I'm gonna kiss God. Oh, I don't. Know. Maybe. I'm like, uh, I'm a little sick right now. If you, if you noticed on my last stream, towards the end, I kind of sound like I'm running out of batteries, and that was because I was starting to get sick. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. It's Silent Hill three time. Hi everybody. Hey. Oh, the game's not showing up. Come on. Is this it? Oh, there you go. Okay. Hi everybody. Hello. Give you guys over here. This side. Hi, hey, awkward pop song and coach roll and intruni and Pazuzu and Vigus. How's it going? And Xenon. I should have a sick model. <laughs> That'd be funny. That's actually a really good idea. Like a sick or an injured uh, model. Hey, I'm Busy B. There's nothing for you to do at work, so here I am. Good. I'm glad you're using your work time to not work. Always take advantage of free time at work for yourself. Loud Hill. This, yeah, it is very, Silent Hill is loud as hell. Just like in general, a lot of loud things there. It's not very silent at all. So last time we left off, I think we, we were in Silent Hill. We like just got to Silent Hill, like for real, like Silent Hill IRL or not. <laughs> like actually in the town Silent Hill. I'm going to have I'm gonna kind of have the, the wiki up next to me because, like I said before, I get very lost in Island Hill. Your, your wee wees are even closer. You don't have them yet at your at your house, or they're just like around. I have so many wee-wees, I don't know what to do with them. They're just every- they're, there's so many in my house. I have a few unopened ones, too. So, oh, Poodle Pants! Thank you so much for subscribing. Wow! 13 months, thank you so much! James, I, I, really I hope appreciate that it. you feel better fast. Thank you. You're getting it on the 10th night. What does what does my species look like when uh when, when they're sick? 
pretty close to humans. Like that that is a that's something I've talked about before is like uh the species where I'm from where where uh where we're from is pretty close to humans. The bathroom out. So there's like a like we get like I am susceptible to COVID too. Like biologically I'm pretty close to humans, except I'm just like better in a bunch of different In some instances, not others. Like I still get sick and have a pretty similar immune system. <clears throat> There's no point in turning on the TV. All I could watch is snow anyway. What's snow? Oh, also, thank you for Thank you for getting a capsule. What is Poodle the name pants? of the island that Jurassic Park is built on? A Isla uh... Sorda, B Isla Muerta, C Isla Pina, no idea. or D Isla Nubbler. I have no idea. I have no idea. The answer is Oh D D Isla Nubbler. That's a good guess. Those are all pretty similar. Nubbler. Do I have a map? I do have a map. Okay. I probably gotta go to the hospital. I hope I still got my... Yeah, I still got my piece. I still got... I got that, that thing on me. Probably equip my body armor. <laughs> and yeah, I guess I'll bring a pistol with me. Hey, Ashley, katana time. Okay, you know what? You're right. I'm going to go. It's time. It's time to go blade mode. I got COVID like two years ago and it made Dota taste weird until I got vaccinated. Dang. That's, I think, one of the scarier parts for me. Like, I don't know. I'm. I am not in a risk group. And uh, I feel like if I did get COVID, like, it wouldn't be bad. But. The idea of losing your taste is one of the scariest things to me. Like losing taste and smell seems so sad. Uh, Jan, did I get sick because the, I ate the, the military MRE food? No, no, I haven't eaten that yet. I'm going to, I'm planning on eating it on this Sunday. I'm gonna be playing a game with a friend it's gonna be we're playing like a World War II game, and I'm I thought that that would be an appropriate time to eat the MRE is while playing uh we're playing a game called Hell Let Loose, which is a uh it's like a big like mul like World War II multiplayer game. It's kind of it, it's kind of fun. I've been playing with my friend every once in a while. Everyone takes it very seriously. Uh. Everyone's on like squads and they have to you have to like work together and make sure that uh your uh you're like doing all like you're like everybody kind of like low key uh cosplays as a uh oh oh no it's a dog Okay I might have to fight Oh yeah, uh, the protein and COVID penetrates the blood barriers. Lingering symptoms have absolutely no taste just a week. Sorry, 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 sorry. Watch something. The good then seems kind of unfinished. It's definitely like unfinished-ish. Like it's a, I think it's an early access game, but it's kind of my friend really likes it and i haven't had like a game to play with 
uh, friend for a while, so. I like when, I like when people, like, I like when a multiplayer game, when people take it really seriously and kind of cosplay or like do, like role play as, uh, oh, that sounds bad, whatever that is. I think I know who that kind of guy that is. It's very, it's very foggy. Like even more foggy than usual, it feels like in Silent Hill. Why is she swinging? Like that. Hub, hub, hub. What does HB, HB, HB mean? How about, how about, how about, how about? <laughs> Random P is just a jumble. I'm so excited for, there's one new P that's coming out that, I can't say what it is, but I'm excited. It's gonna be like a funny one. One that I'm excited about. And I think fans will uh, will like as well. Oh, I can't go in here. Okay. I was half expecting that I would need to find a key. Oh, no. Okay, there's already... Oh, there's already people here. Oh. Oh, yeah, there's, uh, there's nurses here. <gasps> oh, no! All right. Well, gotta find a map. Damn, they really just... They really start attacking you immediately. P2 war has changed. A new P. Yeah, there's gonna be a new type of P coming out soon. So fans of P, get, uh... Be on the lookout. It's gonna be... You're gonna look at P at a whole, a whole new way. I don't know, I do the... Like a response. Odd situations. Oh, 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 I see, I see. For sure. Unbusy me. I, I'm trying to think of something that... Where I do something... I think something similar that I do is I just go, like... I just end every sentence with LOL or LMAO or... I just laugh at the end of every sentence. Because I want to make sure that nobody thinks I'm being, like, too serious or mean. Oh, wait, hold on. The map's right here. Oh no, the hospital's messed up. How could this happen? I would really like it if the... Um... Did I just save? Oh yeah, I did. Never mind. Well, hold on. I'm going to save again so I don't have to pick up that map again. Uh, Sorry for the red. It would be funny if there was a Silent Hill game where the hospital was complete. You just go into a hospital and there's, it's just like fully staffed. Everybody's just doing normal hospital stuff. There's a bunch of doctors with like a headband stuff and they're just like, oh man, got a lot of patients today. Wow. And stop help. <laughs> you can't stop. Like, I'm like the Joker, I can't stop laughing. Yeah, I basically, that's the reason I, I say LOL is to lighten, is to make sure that people don't know I'm like, I'm, I'm upset or threatening in any way.
medical record or something. It's for this Leonard guy. Could this be the same Leonard that Vincent was talking about? Room S12, pre presenting mild audiovisual hallucinations, emotional instability, obsessive ideas, suspect mild schizophrenia, will continue observation. Basically calm and cooperative with a strong sense of justice. Huh. However, according to reports, becomes very violent when overexcited. The other one is for Stanley Coleman. Room S07, usually passive and cowardly, also egotistical. Sometimes shows and acts on obsessive attachments to a particular woman. This has caused violent incidents. Use caution. Damn. Want to know how I got these peepees? <laughs> That's really good. Want to know how I got these? Um, I don't know. I just got them for. I need them. The LOL is to make sure people know you're not actually mad. Food only, not store drugs. I wonder if it's okay to store health drink. Oh, nice. Um. Yeah, I don't know. What's kind of funny is like the, uh, what are those things that people use on the end of sentences that are like ash slash S for like sincere, like tone indicators, I think there is what they're called. Uh, People make fun of those a lot. Uh, oh, they're suffering on the whiteboard, but none of it really matters to me. People make fun of tone indicators a lot, but it's we do need to we do need tone indicators. I think they did because it is very, very, very easy to misinterpret things people say on the internet. You got another ad? Oh no! Oh fuck! It wasn't me. I promise. I blame Shindigs for that. Does Adblocker block ads on Twitch, though? <clears throat> this day has finally come. That's right, the day when you and I will meet. Oh shit, this is probably the, the simp guy. I was always thinking of you're in this gloomy cell. I never even knew your name or face until today. But now I know. I know you're the one I've been waiting for. Haven't you been waiting for me too? That's why you came to rescue me. Oh, how I, how I love you, Heather. Wow, it's me. I wanted to give you my prized doll. I made the, to commemorate our meeting. The start of this everlasting love. Uh, I can already see your smiling face. Stanley Coleman, ew. Ew, ew, ew. Ew, who is this guy? Why is he talking? You block Origins doesn't, but there's a separate one that does. Oh, cool. Okay, yeah. Please use ad block if you're watching. Disgusting. I won't touch that with a 10 foot pole. Good call, Heather. Literal stan alert. It's just a flower pot. Nothing special. I don't know what kind of plant it is. You can also put this in the front of your router. Block every ad for every device. Oh yeah, I've heard of Pie Hole before. I've heard it's pretty good. You need a ra like you. I'm assuming you need a Raspberry Pi for it, which is why there's pie in front of it, or some sort of a. The Stanley Simp Simpable. <laughs> okay, I gotta look through a bunch of. I haven't looked down. Facing the right. Oh, I need a key. Oh, the Stanley Bear is social. I want a desktop. Look up TTV LOL. Yeah, block ads. I mean, I'm I'm sure it should not getting any money from ads, so. I think I just pay for, uh, I think the ads like pay for whatever hosting me, but, uh, I, I pay, I use Amazon prime. So as far as I'm concerned, 
Uh, I, I have more than. Oh, okay. Time to go. All right, I'm not going in there. <laughs> Jesus. That was like the nurse hangout room. That was a, that was the the staff room. Oh, this is nicer. Oh, ew, ew, ew! It's just it's the guy. The organization has me shut up in here. They mean to break my will to to make me forget about all that. But I'll stay here. I'll stay sane even if they throw me in here with lunatics. How about if I stick this to the wall? That would be worthless. You can peel it off, can't you? With that junk, those nasty wrenches won't stop using. Uh, the thing has no meaning. There's no reason for it to exist at all. Just as you exist for me. But why haven't you taken my doll with you? Um, I guess must have embarrassed you. Yeah, they are. How cute are you, Heather? Ew, 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 ew. Um. <laughs> Stanley Coleman. Hold on, I need to change something quick. I think I have like a a, a bad hot key. Okay. Yeah, Heather. Heather, you should like. Heather should should not be here. There's a lot of things stuck to the wall. A cookie, a toothbrush, a spoon, a Christmas card, a clock. Whoever was probably using glue, but why do this in the first place? Oh, shit. Oh, there's a key. Key glue to the wall. I'd love to take it with me, but it's really stuck tight. I can't even pull it off. Oh, looks like we got our first quest. play all the sound effects at the same time i don't know if i could do that maybe i don't know hold on let me try let me see what happens if i if i do oh <laughs> i don't i don't think i played all of them at the same time i played like half of them but it's a ton of them did still play <laughs> What's everybody's favorite one? I don't know about weird monsters. Or Silent Hill 3. Uh, honestly, yeah, Grantus, I agree. Like, monsters, you can just run past. But in this game, I don't know. How do you, how do you get, how do you get past a stalker? My ears were confused. Uh, I think I might have enough bullets for. Or I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep my vest on, but I'm gonna use my gun for this room. The one that's fast and is like, bum. The one you played earlier. This one. I really like that one. That one, I think, uh, I think my friend gave that to me. That, that sample. <laughs> Thanks, Ashley. Whoa, no! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Get him, get him, get him. Go, Heather, go, Heather, get him. Go, get him, get him, get him. Okay, I got the vest on, I got the vest on, I'm invincible. Girl boss. Yeah, we did it. Oh, I got him. Where, where is girl boss time? You thought it was, oh, this sound? <laughs> I love that sound.
That one's so funny. I I play that one all the time when whenever we whenever I uh uh we stream on the item label account because <laughs> it freaks everybody out. I I killed everybody in here because I thought there would be an item in here, but I don't think there is. Damn. <laughs> Five more minutes. Give this prison. Good luck. Force the. Over here. Oh no, I can't. God doesn't say feathers. Hey Liz. I'm trying to find a Oh, they run after you? I didn't know they I didn't know they ran. That's a funny sound effect. Oh, I didn't check over here. Oh, I can't get that one because that's the elevator. Can I go in here? No. The nurses aren't faceless like they were in two. That's a really good detail. Yeah. They're not like a... Uh... Oh my god, this sounds so funny. It's like uh, the two nurses' like heavy breathing sound like, uh, like car blinkers when they're slightly desynced. Sample for the soundboard. Okay. So, I need a... I need something to get uh, something off of that wall. I might already have an item to help me. I guess maybe I could use a knife or something, or... The double doors you can't carry, enter the... Oh, you can't go through the elevator. Wait, hold on one sec. Okay. Like the Steve Wright pieces of that synchronization. <laughs> oh, yeah, this one does work. Okay. As I mentioned, in Silent Hill, the monsters are a manifestation of the characters. Right? Am I wrong about that? Uh, no, that's pretty. I mean, I think that's a pretty good. That's sort of a universally agreed on interpretation. I mean, definitely with uh. Certainly for, definitely for Silent Hill 2, because, like, that game is purely just, like, uh, James Sunderland and Angela and, uh, Eddie's, like, pathology manifested as a monster. In this game, it's kind of, I mean, this game, you could, might be slightly different. I mean, again, it's one of those things where the, it, there's no wrong answer, but for Silent Hill 2, like, definitely. Like, there is a, there's certainly, like, a, a oh, Intruni, have we talked to you? Hey, thanks for stopping by. You may not yet have realized your own true feelings, but you sense them unconsciously. Oh, and so you're trying to get closer to me. That's a virtue, the path to paradise. If the door is locked, open it. Use the password for the prison gates. Doctor, I've forgotten his name. Anyway, that quack has it posted. He should be here too. I mean, four numbers would have been good enough, but he kept on going. Isn't it a shame? I'm not here. Are you irritated? 
I long for you, but you're so cruel. Still, I want you, Heather. Ew, 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 ew. Wait, ew. Sorry, I was doing my ha my happy face. Stanley Coleman. Ew, ew, ew. Yeah, this is the. I think one thing that this game this game definitely does capture is like for somebody like Heather is like this game just has every type of guy that's like hostile to somebody like Heather the stalker the uh the guy who follows you to the bathroom uh a guy like Vincent who you have no no uh choice but to trust Heather needs a training order. Heather needs more than that. Oh, uh, Caesar, no. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome. I hope you're having a good day. Oh, I think those are the two items I needed. Lockers. Wait, I can't seem to get it. Open. I don't know if I'll be able to get it open. Heather needs this guy as a dress and a gun. Well, I have a gun, so soon I all I need is a. I just needed an address. I think I could use the. I think I need to use both the nail polish remover. And oh, whoa, whoa, wow, okay. <laughs> Dang. I think I might be able to get that key off. Maybe we'll see. That's true for Silent Hill, too, I guess, but I'm not sure if it's true for in every game. That I assume how people interpret it, but I guess it's more spe subjective if it's for ones that aren't Silent Hill too. I think for this one, there's that like there are certain uh I don't know the monsters almost feel like less threatening than like just the guys and like the dudes in this game, which is a uh, like kind of interesting. We gotta drive home. Okay, I'm busy. Thanks for stopping by. Have a safe drive. I find some of the monsters pretty scary. Oh yeah, don't get me wrong. Some of the monsters in this game are scary or can be scary. Let's see if this works. Yay! Stairwell key. Okay, perfect. Got it. The ones with the blades. Oh yeah, yeah. Those ones I almost, I kind of find weirdly cute and I'm not sure why. I think maybe because they are, they're sort of easy to get past. Um, the really, the really big guys with like, with the big just arms that just slam you, those, those guys kind of have a creepy. Wait, was there a? I don't know if there was a door to the second floor. Oh. Oh, it's save point on a on a sign. I don't know what what is every, what is everybody I don't know what what enemy is like the scariest you guys think? I feel like the the creepiest monsters to me are the ones in Silent Hill 2. Heather, my most sacred lover, I'm always watching you, no matter where you are 
or what you may be doing. I've never lost sight of you. You see, like this in this game, like this is the scariest monster to me. Just just guys like this. And yeah, I know you feel intensely lonely, yet with a single key to this door, these feelings won't stand in the way any longer. We haven't been able to see each other for so long. Be patient. It's just a little longer. I'll be patient too, even though I've longed to hold you in these hands of mine. The key is behind the shelves in the underground garage. Why there? Ask that idiot doctor. There's not a single person here who's right in the head. Not just in this hospital. I mean in all of Silent Hill. Except me, Stanley Coleman. Ew, ew. They did a great job creating the most awful guy. Yeah, no, I, all the, like, yeah, the, you're like stalker in this level is, he's like, like all the letters you read. It's a great like introduction to Silent Hill. Cause like, this is Heather's like first time in Silent Hill, I guess, as like an adult. Oh, oh, oh yeah, I don't have the uh, code yet, so I think I gotta go under, I gotta go to the basement. Special. Oh, oh. Oh, what's in here? Oh, no! No, 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 no! Okay, I'm gonna leave that room alone. Oh, no, ew. Okay. Flowing freely, your ebony hair like the night sky, scattering fragrance, my heart clamoring in my chest like a storm. You trifle with it, your pristine glance like a feast when you smile my thoughts disturbed my breath like opium it drives me mad e eric a great poem who conveys my feelings so well oh man he didn't even he didn't even write that i shouldn't have let this place get to me should never have gone crazy but it's superbly enjoyable to drown in my love for you but why won't you accept proof of my love don't stand in ceremony now after all, you and I exist as one. When I, what I give to you is the same as what I give to me. Stanley Coleman. Oh. And I gotta read those because sometimes they have clues as to like what I need to do next. Like the last one where it said I had to go down to the garage. Sucks. Able to just like, I wonder if these go down the there, go down all the way. Oh, I haven't gone to this floor yet. Got to check every door. I hope I don't have to read. Oh, it's a bag. Wait, can I? Okay, never mind. I guess there's nothing in here. With a name like Coleslaw, I knew it'd be bad. Stanley Coleslaw. Anything else? Oh. Taco Bell. <clears throat> I know in uh, Silent Hill 4, a lot of the monsters uh, don't really have to, do, like the, the monsters don't really have any too much to do with you specifically. They have to do with like another person, a serial killer, and you're just kind of trapped in his uh, twisted world by accident because you happen to live in the, ap in the apartment that he lived in.
Let's go down to the bottom floor. Um, yeah. Beyond that, though, I think the monsters aren't supposed to aren't really very uh. Can't go. I can't use all. Oh, there we go. Okay. I think I might have picked it up. Um, yeah. In every in every other Silent Hill, I think the monsters are mostly just meant to be very monsters, and you're just a person who has to fight them or more likely run away from them. Oh. I got a submachine gun bullet. Oh. The wheelchair where the where's the person that was using it? I, I really like that shot of, of the close up of the wheel and then it like slowly bends downwards. The air screamers are scary, I think that's called. Air screamers? Hold on. Hey, what are these? Oh, are the the ones in Silent Hill one? These guys? This guy? That hit that uh Harry's shooting? Those they make a really scary noise. I kind I kind of remember those guys. I only played through the first Silent Hill once. Oh shit! Got a submachine gun. This has such a weird like scene right here because there's like a somebody got shot a bunch and like I guess in the elevator and then they just like uh just was in a wheelchair and they rolled over there and like I guess died or something. Blood trail continues into the elevator. Part of me wants to peek in, but then it's a little creepy too. Yeah. If I had to give like a, if I had to give one complaint about this game, uh, streaks of blood as if something got dragged are continuing onto the back of the shelf. No, it's more like they start from the back of the shelf. Oh, okay. So I think I can't squeeze into there and there's no way I can move the shelf either. Wait, but I have to get, oh no, I have to get back there. It's all just junk. I don't think. I know there's like something I have to, there's something I have to get back there. I think. <clears throat> uh... Second floor, enter the women's locker room and grab a nail. About that. Normal. Oh, the door to the patient wing is locked. You'll need to go to get through. The memo on the chalkboard explains the puzzle. Wait, which chalk? Oh! Okay. Okay. There's a memo, like, right next to where I needed to... So I gotta go I gotta go up to the second floor.
Yeah, here it is. Okay. I missed this. Typewritten memo posted here. The first is larger than the second, the second twice the third, the third smaller than the fourth, the fourth is half the first. Four of the numbers are not repeated, three are not in the top row, two are not in the right row, one of the numbers is the final key. Okay, I really got, all right, I gotta use my brain here. The first is larger than the second, okay, the second twice the third. Third smaller than the fourth. Fourth is half the first. Oh, uh, this is like a this is like a programming like riddle interview question. I remember I interviewed a long time ago at Google for like a software engineer job, and they asked me some shit like this, and I was like, I don't. This is in my head. I was like, Why are you asking me this? I'm never going to need to know this. This puzzle always makes my brain freeze. Uh, I mean, I could probably figure it out with a, with enough time. I wonder if I could figure it out just with these clues right here. Just by process of elimination. So, well, I guess... Uh, so none of the numbers are the same. Uh... Three of the numbers are not in the top row, and two are not on the right row. And one of the numbers is the final key, which I don't know what the final key means. Pen and paper usually gets me through them. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, hold on, I kind of want to figure this out. Uh... Four of the numbers are not repeat. That's so, yeah, none of them are the same, which, like, actually helps a lot. Three are not on the top row. Two are not on the right. So that means that there's... That two of the... Two not being on the right row means that two of the numbers are either three, six, or nine. So it has... So There has to be two numbers that are at least three, six, and nine, and only one of them is one, two, and three. First is larger than the second, and the second twice the third, and the third smaller than the fourth. The fourth is half the first. Usually with these, like with these, I just end up like trying things and seeing like which one actually, like which combination actually fits, but that usually will like end up taking the longest. Just like randomly putting in numbers and then seeing how close I get. So the first known one is larger than the second, second twice the third, third smaller than the fourth and the fourth. half of the first. If fourth is half of the first, and the first is larger than the second number, uh oh this is hard also i'm like i'm i'm like i'm sick so like my brain is already working at half capacity mm. So the second number is twice as big as the third number, and the third number is smaller than the fourth, but the fourth is still half the first. <laughs> you would have given up and looked for the answers on Google. Well, no, I gotta I, I gotta figure it out. I gotta figure it out. I gotta figure it out. Um Or at least I'll try for a little bit. Okay. I think like have knowing that two of the numbers are three, six, and nine is very helpful. So I think if the second is twice as big as the third, twice as big as the third, uh, and we know that two numbers have to at least be three, six, and three, six, and nine. Let's say that second is six, and the third number is three. 
Hold on, I'm gonna I'm gonna put this up. I have like a little uh I have a uh, what's it called? MS Paint open. Okay. You can see how bad I am at typing with uh, or writing with a mouse. Okay, if this is like a this is the second number and this is the third number. So the first then is larger than the second, which means that that has to be, this has to be like seven, eight, or nine. And the fourth is half of the first. Uh, well, there's three left, or sorry, there is, since there's three, like the only numbers above six is seven, eight, nine, and only one of those is even, is an even number where you can get half from. So if we make this eight, and this one four, let's see if this like fits. The first is larger than the second, it's true. Second is twice as the third. The third is smaller than the fourth, which is also, that's true. The fourth is half of the first. Yep, so far that's all true. Four of the numbers are not repeated. Three are not in the, three are not in the top row. Yeah, that's true, only, one is, two are not in the right row, that's six and three, and one of the numbers is the final key. I don't know what that last thing means, but I think it's eight, six, three, four. Let's try it. Yes, I did it. Wow, I'm giving myself a round of applause. I, I, I can't believe I actually solved that just like with a pen and paper. <laughs> wow. That's pro gaming. That's like, that's, that's a, uh, yeah, that's me using my, a that's me using my alien brain. <laughs> that's me pointing at my head. How? You just, so I think like the, one thing that helped me was that one where it was like two numbers are in that one row. And knowing that, uh, like three, six and nine, and knowing that I was like, well, this kind of gives me, there is at least like one set of numbers, three and six I can use to help me. The hand that's sticking out of the written on it. The start time is my key. Wait, what? The start time is my key. Okay. There's a tattoo on its foot. Uh, Margaret, let's swear our love until death do us part. Huh. There's a medical record here. Could this be for that guy? Background, unknown, name, age, unknown, not admitted patient, found in poor mental state in hospital grounds and temporarily installed in room M4 at Chief's discretion. Died late tonight from blood loss due to severely, uh, car carotid? Car carotid? Severe, oh, severed carotid, carotid artery? Am I saying that right? Severely carotid artery oh well i hope i'm saying that right was gasping was grasping own kitchen knife in right hand assume this was cause of neck wound i think i'm saying it right okay possible suicide but wound angle suspicious sent to second floor treatment room for further investigation have received no proof or corroboration of events from patients residing in same room have not notified police. However, for future necessity, leave victim's bed and effects intact. Room M4. Carroted. <laughs> yeah, it was definitely not that. <laughs> there are papers scattered on the floor. Something's written on them, but none of them... 
Is there any other paper, or is it just this? Okay, so I gotta go to where? M4? Alright, I'll check out. And this thing says the... The start time is my key. And this says, uh... Let's swear our love until death do us part. Hmm. Okay, here's M1. M2. M3. M4. Will I turn off the alarm? Yes. Oh, this is important. Five or four, uh, four forty eight. I think. Yeah, four forty eight. Okay, so that's going to be important. Definitely. Oh, no, here is another puzzle. Or another, uh, not puzzle, another thing from the guy. There was a tattooed guy on, on that rumpled bed. Not anymore, though. That alarm clock and filthy bag are his. Ah, but don't misunderstand. I haven't done a thing. I didn't hate him, though he was a liar. Shall I write something of my own? On my chest, since I can't cut it open to show you my heart. I love Heather. Ew. 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 No, something a bit more forceful i love heather isn't enough for what i feel oh what a tender emotion this image brings stanley coleman dude the second i see stanley coleman i'm putting a fucking bullet in his head what a cachet cation <clears throat> um could I just do is it this? Five four seven? Maybe not. Okay. Well, I guess I might need something to figure out this lock. Probably don't have it yet. Oh wait, no, shit, sorry. I did five five forty seven. I think it's four forty seven. Four forty seven or four forty eight. There we go. Yay! Okay. That that was the lock. I got an instant camera. Oh, no, 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 no. Ow. Oh, wait, I want that health kit. They'll probably need it. Wait, I'll need it to heal myself after getting hit. Oh, what the fuck? She has a gun? They have guns? I forgot that they had guns in this game. Oh no! Oh. Nurses should not have guns. That's like the last thing a nurse should have is a is a gun. Oh no, I didn't go through the other uh these other two rooms and the elevator. Shit. I gotta go back. Oh no. Okay. Alright, well, if she's gonna have a gun, then I'm gonna have a gun too. Actually, how many bullets do. Oh damn, I got like 139. Oh, okay. And I have a lot of, uh. I have a bunch of healing items. This game is a lot easier when you have, a. Uh... When, when when you have a uh, uh when the 
It's not easy. The action difficulty. All right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get her. I'm gonna get her. Come on, Heather. Damn. Oh, okay, I got her. Target eliminated. That one's locked. Oh. Oh no. I hope I didn't come here for no. I okay. I think I did. <laughs> oh no. Wait. There's some other doors down here and the elevator. I haven't checked yet. Okay, never mind. Neither of those work. Is okay. Oh, this is wrong. This playing this game kind of makes me want to rewatch uh silent hill the new silent hill not the first one but the one with the heather in it silent hill 3 i've seen silent hill one several times um but i only i i think i've seen only i saw silent hill 3d once and I don't really remember a ton of it, except the only thing I remember is that Vincent is the the guy with the glasses, who's really uh really weird. He's like a weird. He's like a love interest in the game in the movie, which is a uh, kind of a, a a weird choice to have for the movie. Because I always interpreted that character as just being, like one of the like mistrustful guys who you should stay away from. Oh no. I also like the rooftop. It makes me want to fly. You too? Stanley Coleman. Yeah, I'm going to make you fly off the fucking roof. When I push you off the roof. Oh! I like the small pause that they did, that they, they were both like... Waited a second before they, they turned towards me. Like they were, they were just hanging out. Oh no! Oh, 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 oh! I heard the Silent Hill movies are bad. They're they're not like Oh my god. Let me go, let me go, let me go. The Silent Hill movies aren't great for sure, but there's like a Oh, they're blocking the door. I think I mentioned before on here, but uh there is a my my friends have a YouTube channel called Film Critters, and they have a what I think is a pretty good read of the first silent hill movie i think they're like they they can be like kind of interesting movies if you're if you're not just directly comparing them to the first movie then they're like I, okay i guess they're interesting in their own way yeah yeah exactly they're not like i mean they're not great or movies in general but if you look at them in isolation like and instead of like like the games are really great so uh if you're trying to like be like a, oh like this doesn't heather's not exactly who she should be in these movies like in the game or like doing that with any other character in the movies uh it's not gonna be good because the games are just much better and also the stories are kind of are very different 
this okay this is still locked oh wait what the fuck hold on this camp is this another room Wait, hold on. What do I have? Unlike a normal. Oh! Oh, oh, oh! I know what I have to do. I know what I have to do. Okay, okay. I remember this. So, there was a. The uh, Stanley Coleslaw earlier said that there is a code on in the basement. And. Behind a shelf, but we can't, like, go through there to see the. To see what the code is but we have a camera so we can take a picture kind of and then get the code that way i think like that's how i i remember doing something like that with the camera like you have to like use it to take a picture of something here we go okay let's see if this works Mm -hmm. Yep. Nine four one eight. Oh, one movie I saw last night. I didn't see in theaters is uh the batman the new batman i i ended up really liking it i liked it better than the other batman or I, I really liked Paul Dano's character. Yeah, what do people think of the new... Of the Batman, the new Batman? Because that, that was something that... Um, I didn't really like I, I saw like some ads about it, but then like I didn't really see what people's impressions of it were after the fact. Like what did people think of it? I heard the first half is good and the second half kind of loses itself. Sorry, Roar Bad Bad and Sin. I I love I love Robert Pattinson so much. I heard someone describe the new Batman as radically centrist. Oh, it's politics. Oh yeah, okay. The the movie ha doesn't have good politics, but of course. But I also okay, like I personally hold on. Uh, hold on. Oh 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 shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! No, not my map. I need my. I need a. Uh, I don't want to. Use up my my ammo. I use my katana. Yeah. Yeah. While you were at while you were at nursing school, I was studying the blade. <laughs> okay. Let me, let me let me let me get this one too. It's it's definitely yeah. I really I like the movies better than the Nolan movies. The Riddler being like a yeah. Uh, the Riddler's like uh, the Riddler's online presence is so funny. I mean, he's basically just meant to be like a. Like a. Of a, a, a like 4chan guy with like a very small following. 
Uh oh. Goodbye, Heather. I'm sorry I wasn't able to respond to your love. It's all over. Leonard despises me because I made fun of it, saying it would come to this. If it weren't for his meddling, I would have been able to meet you in just a little while. Then I could have taken you to my world, a world for us alone, more beautiful than this one. And I had been waiting for this day for today. Wait. And I had been waiting for this day for today, the day I'd see you, the day you'd save me, today. Heather, watch out for him. Leonard is no ordinary guy. Farewell. I loved you. Heather, my goddess. Heather, my lover. Heather, my... Oh, does it not? Okay. Wow, and he, like, broke apart the doll. Well, at least we're not... We don't have to hopefully worry about him anymore. The Riddler being, like, uh... Yeah, he's basically... Yeah, the the... The Riddler is just, like, a Redditor, which is... I didn't think I would like. Like, I kind of wanted the Riddler to be a... Like, how he is in the old the old comics, like, the old cartoons, where he's just, like, a, a guy with, like, a flashy suit and a cane and, like, a bunch of question marks on his... On his suit. Like, that one dude... Who's that one guy who, uh... Is, like, here's how you can get free money from the government. Like, that dude. That dude's, like, kind of like the Riddler a little bit. Or dresses like the Riddler. Oh. Phone. <laughs> Riddler was a member of the band. Question mark in the Mysterians. Hello? Matthew, let's go. That's it. No, I'm not... Yo trying to run from your responsibilities. Have you come to apologize? Or maybe you still don't realize how foolish you've been. The salvation of all mankind. Ah, what a ridiculous dream. Wait, just listen to me for a second. I've heard enough from you already. Uh-oh. turn out this way. Where did I go wrong? Listen to me already. I'm... Not Claudia. You're not Claudia. My name is Heather. 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 Who are you? I don't know, girl. You never give your real name to somebody. Oh, no, it's Leonard. I'm sorry. Oh, hey, I'm Busy B. I thought you were my daughter. Welcome back. Oh. Claudia is your daughter? Claudia is Leonard's so you daughter. Know her, do you? Are you one of her followers? No, <clears throat> never. When I find her, I I'm I can feel the hatred. What? Behind your words. The anger. You plan to kill her, don't you? I'm sorry. My yeah, we're 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 gonna get her. She's a fool, but she's still my daughter. No one's gonna stand in Heather's way. I was going to forgive her if she changed her ways, but I see it's too late. Heather, will you help me? Help you? I'm locked up in here, and I must stop Claudia. Where are you now? sure myself but the door is at the end of the hall on the second floor i think i can be of help to you i have oh. a seal please a seal uh oh what do we do we trust this guy who is uh claudia's claudia's dad I ever directed a pickle biopic one about one about a uh, question mark probably be the top of my he does seem a little sus also wait hold on what's question that that looks really from that looks familiar I don't know if I've heard that band but Is 
it is hard to search them because if I do a question mark in a in a uh, in a Chrome bar, it it tries to like auto correct to like a Google search for some reason. They did the song ninety six tears in one hit one or six. Oh, okay. I don't recognize. They look like a very nineteen uh, sixties band. <laughs> Just looking at pictures of them. Oh, I'm on the third floor right now. Alright, we gotta go to the second floor. We gotta meet this guy. And if he pulls anything, then you know what we're gonna do. A random garage band. Oh, okay. Uh, sorry, before... Oh, yeah, before I got distracted, I was gonna say... Somebody said that... Uh, oh, yeah, Liz, you said that... Someone described the new Batman as radical centrist. I would say like it it's as if not like it's as like maybe centrist as like the Nolan movies are. Except the Nolan movies I would say are probably much more like I don't know. Neocon, just like a uh, uh pro surveillance state movies this the magazine just some kind of gossip magazine teaching despair hope house hope house an orphanage in the outskirts of silent hill but behind its false image is a place where children are kidnapped and brainwashed hope house ha is managed by the silent hill smile support society a charitable organization sometimes called 4s it's true that 4S is a well-respected charity that takes in poor children without homes and raises them with hope. But at its heart, it is a heathen organization that teaches its own warped dogma in lieu of good religious values. Oh, okay. I don't know what kind of book this is. Oh, hey, Minchki. Hi, welcome. Mr. Smith, temp, who lives near Hope House, had this to say. Sometimes at night, I can hear their weird prayers and the sound of children crying. I went there to complain one time, but they ran me right out. Since then, it hasn't changed a bit. In fact, this reporter was refused admission when he attempted to take photographs of the facility. Kind of sus taking pictures of kids. What exactly do the folks at Hope House have to hide? During my inner investigations, I was able to discover, however, a suspicious looking round concrete tower which appeared to be part of their facilities. Unfortunately, no one was willing to tell us what the tower was used for, but it seemed unlikely that it had anything to do with the business of raising orphans. It may in fact be a prison or a secret place of worship. The cult religion that operates Hope House is known by the locals simply as the Order. It is a religious, it's a religion that deeply interwoven with Silent Hill's history, but its worshippers uh, fervent belief that they are among the elite chosen people has a dark and dangerous side. I intend to continue my investigation of Hope House and the cult behind it. I've always believed that telling the whole truth and showing the children the truth path is our most important duty. Joseph Schreiber. Hope House. I feel like I've heard that name before. Huh. By the way, uh... The one thing that, like, honestly, to me, the, like, least interesting part of the Silent Hill is, like, the, the whole cult part. I feel like Silent Hill would probably be a, a better series and probably would have produced better games if, uh, if the games weren't as nearly tied up with the cult stuff as this one is. Or, like, yeah, like, I don't know. Uh... Nolan movies accidentally fall face first in justifying every bad aspect of capitalism. But yeah, they... I mean, they do, yeah. It's really funny because in... I remember watching... Uh... The Dark Knight. And I remember there was, like, a part in The Dark Knight where... Uh, what's his name? Morgan Freeman is, like... He's like, wow, Batman, you can use every cell phone to check uh to see where everybody is at any time you want in this city this is like the uh this is like the patriot act he didn't say that part but he's like wow you can this is a lot of responsibility but you better use it to stop the bad guy 
Uh, cause what else are we gonna do? Cause, uh, you know, it's the Joker. Anyway, let's use it. And they did. So that's like all you learn from it. Um, I guess what I, like, what I would probably say about that is like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't look to superhero movies for like good politics. Uh, and honestly, like if a, if a superhero movie has like worse politics, that's just funnier to me. Because superhero, I I mean, to me, superheroes are gonna be inherently reactionary no matter what. Um, I'm not. I like. I'm. I I I personally wouldn't hold my breath for like. Uh an epic like woke batman uh he said no man should have this power and then he quits google <laughs> fucking lame way to find the joker yeah he kind of he kind of cheats uh what if we never told people about the horrible stuff we did overseas wouldn't we be better off because the people are all stupid and don't understand they'll totally destroy his panopticon once he kills bin laden for sure It's, oh, I think, okay, I think we're about to meet Leonard. Oh, uh-oh, 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 I think the hospital is about to turn into a, a, to a bad, to a bad hospital. Your character literally starts out as a detective and you make him a just to progress your horrible plot. Nope. Alright, I gotta go this way. I think part maybe part of why I liked the new Batman is it's just like a to me like it, it is just like a straight up like mystery. Like it's just a detective story. And so like I'm not like there are certain kinds of movies that I don't look to for, like, good politics, and I don't really care. Um, and I think this one... And also, I, I really like uh, Robert Pattinson and Paul Dano. Those are, like, just two newer, like, weird guys. There aren't a lot of, a lot of weird guys anymore. Weird actors. So, uh, Paul Dano was there. He, like, did his classic Paul Dano scream, which I, I was, like, hoping for. Jerry Bear had said it's the best when summing up Eternals with it's not a movie, it's not a theme park, it's a series of GIF sets. I haven't seen the Eternals. I don't I have no idea what the Eternals are about. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Should I watch the Eternals? Is are the, is it good as people say it is, or is it uh it looks like a every every poster I've seen of the Eternals to me looks like a uh it looks like a sci-fi channel like tv series you know like a like like something that's on air for like five seconds run out there run oh i said jeff Oh, come on. Don't give me shit for that. Oh! Still has an unusually high fever. Eyes don't open. Getting a pulse, but just barely breathing. <laughs> oh, well, I I'm not sure what happened there. Damn, man. Wow, Silent Hill can be weird sometimes, huh? What the hell, was I daydreaming? No, it was more like watching a video in a dark room. But that nurse, I know her. Lisa, who was so heavily towards heavenly towards me in that hellish hospital room. She did get a little weird though. Oh, oh, what could that be? The eternal CGI wasn't even good. Trailers downright embarrassing. Uh, comic book fans now are like how boomers learn everything about the frontier from Westerns. You know, yeah. Sometimes, yeah, my PS2, uh, it's it gets dusty sometimes, and I gotta like you know dust it off. Uh. Ooh, 
That's a good sound. I love that sound. Pattinson with eye makeup made my pee pee big. He, yeah, he looked really, he looked really good with that eye makeup. I have to say. Like Robert, I, I, I really like Robert Pattinson. Oh, this is. Oh, by the way, this is our boy. Uh, his name's Valtiel. He handles a. Uh, you know, vaults or like a, you know, turning things. Uh, whenever you die, he kind of drags you, he drags you away and makes you feel better or does something. I don't know what he does. Oh man. Oh, this is so good. This like whole, I remember this, like this ladder. This is such a good like sequence. I wish I could turn the camera, but it's probably good that I can't. Uh, yeah, Voltil is kind of the is supposed to be like the pyramid head of this game. Oh, oh, lots happening. How's the volume? The game just suddenly got very loud for me. Oh, this, okay. This was something I was specifically talking about on the last stream where I was like, Silent Hill 3 used uh, like PS2 hardware really well, like better than the second one. One of the things they do is a lot of like dynamic textures, especially in this area. Like like this wall texture right here, like that's all dynamic gen, like generating uh, textures to make it look like it's a weird, you know, moving fleshy thing. It's pretty, pretty crazy for back then to do. Excited to see the new Doctor Strange because people on Twitter are mad that it feels like cheesy uh, Raimi film rather than Marvel's can't cameo. Fucking aesthetic. I, I think I watched a Doctor Strange movie recently and I forget like how I, like it was, it was like fine. Most, honestly, like most, uh, I don't know most marvel movies are like more than anything just kind of boring to me and just drag a ton like they just feel very like uh like scenes just take forever but i remember the i i kind of remember the new do like doctor strange being kind of silly and having a lot of funny stuff so it was just like oh like it's just like really entertaining Uh, also the same editor who did Spider-Man 2002. Oh, you know what? Like I watched the new Spider-Man and it kind of had the, like, I know they had all the Spider-Mans in it and everyone's like, oh, like it's Spider-Man again. All the, all the old Spider-Mans. But I, I thought, I don't know. It was okay. I, I didn't really like it a ton. Not as much as like other people I knew. Oh, hey, Lord of Bones. Yeah, those walls are nasty in a good way. Yeah, I agree. Also, last stream... Wait, Lord of Bones, like, your name sounded really familiar. Do you... Do you paint... Are you the one who painted Warhammer? Oh, this room. I love this room so much. We're just going to hang out in here for a little bit. This is, here's more uh, use of... Dynamic texture. Yeah, look at Heather. What's happening? Uh oh. Oh no. I'm fine on this side, but on the other side, I'm turning all gross. There's a lot, one thing that, that dark, that uh, Silent Hill 3 has is a lot of mention of Heather uh, not wanting to look at a mirror. And then like this room. Oh yeah, look, I'm like frozen now.
Oh, did I leave too early? Oh no, I hope I didn't leave early. Oh fuck, I think I did. Oh, was I? I think I was taking damage in there because my controller started vibrating after a while. I was worried. I was like, I was slowly dying. You just ate a pickle? Nice. Hell yeah. I used to, I used to really not, I used to hate pickles, but then I had good pickles. And once you have a good pickle, then you realize that you, you figure out what's good about pickles. I wonder if I'm taking damage right now. Oh, I don't think I am. I love the sounds in this room. I don't think the, oh. I think the, I don't think the uh, effect starts. Your cousin used to drink pickle, Brian? I used to hate cheese, then I grew up. Like, chug it. That's so bad for you. That's so much sodium. Oh wait, hold on. Is this that room? Yeah, it's that room. It it is it's yeah, don't don't chug pickle brine. Or like having a little bit is probably okay, maybe. Cause all it really is is just like vinegar and salt and like whatever pickling things. Pickling. Uh pickling is like pickle brine is actually really good for brining like chicken. If you're gonna make a, uh, if you're gonna make fried chicken, it's really good for that. But not so good for drinking. That that is that's too much soda. Uh, oh, I can't go. Pickle brine is like one of the ingredients that makes. Make your own Chick-fil-A at home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, people use it a ton for, uh, people use it a ton for, like, like, deep fried chicken. You brine it for, like, an entire day and pickle brine. It'll taste really good. I've been painting, uh, Zara Key Necrons. Ooh. I, I used to play Warhammer, like, a long, long, long time ago. And uh, I played it like I played it when I was little with my friends. Like I was like I was definitely too young to play it. How do I need to check this out? Like avoiding touch this kind of thing. Yeah, I don't blame you, Heather. Um, but yeah, uh, Lord of Bones. I used to play Dark Angels too. I liked them just because they were like they're like goth space marines. Their their story is so funny. They're the like they're the punished. Uh, space marine chapter where their whole deal is just being embarrassed during the whatever the giant war was called because a bunch of dark angels were uh betrayed space marines and so they just try to like find all the all the bad dark angels and make them repent so they literally just uh it's just an entire Space Marine chapter where they're all where they're just calling each other out. Go through this. Um, I didn't. the The funny thing, I guess the the thing with Dark Angels though is a bunch of my friends played Blood Angels, and Blood Angels were just so much better at the time that I played. Or they had like, I don't know, the Dark Angels versus Blood Angels, like the rule set. We were also just very bad at following rules in the game whenever we played. But they were just super... They're powered. Oh, can I go in here? Every time I think of Pickle Brian, I think of that one 4chan thread where somebody almost died of poop explosion after drinking a half gallon of Pickle Brian. Poop exp Jesus Christ. 
How did it give you poop explosion? I feel like it would do the opposite. It would just suck all of the, like, all of the moist, like, all of your, like, water out of your body because it's just pure salt. And you would, uh, you would have, like, a... Unless if the, the poo explosion was the poop is too, uh... Yeah, I guess that's... Yeah, what... I was gonna ask, but I also kind of don't want to know what poop explosion is. He didn't digest on almost any of it. Oh, okay. It wasn't, like, really absorbed. Oh, I went to a baseball game yesterday and the popcorn they had, there was like a poisonous amount of salty. It felt like an attack on my body. Ooh, was it a fun baseball game otherwise? I hope. I haven't been to a baseball game in so long. I don't really like sports, but I kind of, it's kind of fun to go to a sport event with like, Friends. I've only done it a few times in my life. Okay, there's a few doors I haven't opened. I can't tell what is what's a door and what isn't a door. Trying to get to S3, but like, oh, there we go. Okay, just mashing S or mashing A on the walls. It wasn't super crowded because it was during a weekday. Oh, cool. Got handgun bullets. The hand outside the window. Dot dot dot. <laughs> Not even a response, just like saying what it is. Um, the only cheese I still hate is American cheese because I I traumatized myself as a kid. I traumatized myself as a little kid by eating every single craft cheese we had. Oh no. You know what's funny? I when I was little, I hated cheese. I don't know why. Because every all of my friends, everybody I knew in my life loved cheese, but like I just couldn't stand it. And then as I got older, I was like, oh, this is pretty good. And I, but I still didn't eat like craft singles for a long time until uh, I think I had like a, a really good grilled cheese sandwich with craft singles in it. And I was like, okay, I kind of get it. It's, it's a, uh, uh, oh, I haven't gone to the exam room. I think a American, I like American cheese on like a burger because it's a very melty type cheese. All right, where am I? Not the room I wanted to go to. Hated cheese except mac and cheese. I didn't even like mac and cheese, but now I love mac and cheese. Oh, what's this? What is this big bucket of blood, you guys? Uh, 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 uh. Oh, it's coming from somebody. Wait, who is that? There's a dead body hanging from the ceiling. The blood dripping from the bucket. Who would do this and for what? It looks like a... Full out bloodletting. Yep. Uh. Oh. Wonder if I have anything I can use. Can't use my perfume. I bet I need something. That's not. It's Kool Aid. That looks. If that's Kool Aid, then this this guy was drinking a lot of Kool Aid before. I wouldn't even eat the cheese on pizza until I was nine. Whoa. Okay. That that is one thing. I did eat like cheese on pizza. I was fine with that for some reason. 
But like cheese on anything else, like I hated it. So I guess like one thing is like I I didn't like just pure cheese pizza. I always wanted like a bunch of toppings on it. In and out fries are superior. To what? To other uh to other fries? I really like In and Out fries. Everybody hates them. For for some reason. I don't know why. Oh, we we're just in here. They go in and out of your body. Get it? Cause it's like in it. <laughs> I liked that joke. <laughs> yeah, I, re I I really like In and Out too. Oh shit, the elevator works. Yay! That's okay. That's one thing that's great about uh the Silent Hill world. Everything can look like extremely fucked up and horrible, but the elevator is still gonna work. Go down to the basement. Yeah, yeah. Silent Hill, elevator, Silent Hill, elevator. Can't imagine a cheeseless world. I've always loved cheese. Uh. I kind of like. I, I. One of my friends, uh. Who works for Item Label. He really likes cheese. And one time when we were over, he got like a big, uh. He ordered like a bunch of fancy cheeses and had us all come over. We we like taste tested a bunch of different like fancy ordered cheese. And some of them are really good. Okay. All right, I have to do something. Um seven four seven four five nine. Or is it, huh, charcuterie board? It was, yeah, that was also the same day that, because uh, he also ordered a bunch of, like, fruit, like, uh, very, like, fruit that you just can't get where we were, like, in uh, California at the time. I remember seven, seven, five, nine. Or... Seven, four. Seven, four, nine, five. Oh, I think I might have gotten one. Nine, five. I... Okay, I can't interact with any of them. Gotta have working elevators. Be a functioning hell world. That's that is true. Maybe I gotta do it in a different nine five. Four seven. I don't know. I don't know how many different permutations there are in this. Definitely like a decent amount. Nine, nine, five, seven, four. Oh, there we go. Okay. I just had to do it like uh uh clockwise. 
Or sorry, not clockwise, counterclockwise. Cremated key. Star cutie born. <laughs> Charcuterie boards are are good, but like I never, I would never go out of my way to like get one or make one. Usually, I've only had them when I'm like at a party and it's like there, and I'm like, oh, cool, it's like weird stuff. Got to find a. I think there might be one. Where's the lock? Am I in a different part of the map? Wait, where am I? Oh, I'm in the basement. Ha ha ha. If I could live off of charcuterie exclusive. Well, if you could. Dang. Really? I don't know if I would. It's good. Would that be healthy? I'm trying to think. My friends are coming to Cali for a big con and we get a charcuterie board. Oh, that's a, see, okay, making a charcuterie board with like friends, like as an activity where it's like, everybody's like getting like their own individual things to bring. That sounds like a really fun activity. I would be super down to do that. But uh, I would never, I, I wouldn't want to try to make my own. That sounds like it would be a, that would be a nightmare. Unless if I was making a funny one, maybe I'll make one for for item for item label vid. I'll make like a PP charcuterie board. It it would just it would just be full of like peanuts and just garbage. <laughs> I I would absolutely it would absolutely not be healthy. Uh, I would like to eat all of that by myself. If I I'm gonna get I'm gonna get my katana. It's Yeah, where you going? Where you going? Yeah. Yeah. Why is the scary music still happening? Oh no, it's not. It's going away. I'd live off. I would live off of. What would I live off of if I had to live off of one thing forever? Um. Oh. I would probably try to figure out something good because <laughs> living off of one thing forever would be. You you should probably choose something wisely, like rice or. Uh, or maybe like beans or something. Charcuterie and hot pot are more fun with friends. 100% yeah, on busy bee. I don't think I've ever had hot pot by myself, but that sounds like that would that would that would be kind of a uh, It's it's really fun to do that with friends. So, I can't imagine doing that by myself. It's an inherently like social food. Guy. This fucking guy. You'd have to choose something that wouldn't give you scurvy after a while. This fucking, this fucking jack off here on the floor trying to hit my ankles. Italian Heather. Hey, I, hey, I'm walking through the scariest hallway I've ever seen my entire life over here. There's freaking blood and skin on the walls.
I'd love to. Uh, hot pot alone sounds lonely. Yeah. Well, there are. Um, I know in. I know in Japan there are there are a lot of options for uh, like single person hot pot. Oh wait, hold on. That I. I think I accidentally deleted my save. Oops. Okay, I got it back. You'd have to choose something that would keep curvy. I I can you just like live off of like. Could you just live off of rice and that's it? If like that's all you had, just like boiled rice. You probably wouldn't be like whatever, just get buff. But I think like, I, I don't know. I, I feel, I remember watching a video a while ago that was like, yeah, the thing with like, uh, with like, you know, complete proteins and or uh, whatever, like, Getting, like you you want to have like a diverse diet but also a lot of people lived without a diverse diet and you wouldn't die not just your usual stretcher that handles a knife and that blood eye smell did they worship that picture or something in the picture you could definitely subsist a while on race drive off berries and stuff pretty long I think like rabbit or something is a few foods you eat exclusively you will die whoa rat rabbit the rest are like you will not die but it won't be great like rat like rab rabbit meat specifically that's interesting one characteristic mentioned only in rare documents and dying out in the modern age is that of the ritual sacrifice offering prayers pierce a man's chest with a copper stake Drench the altar in the blood which spouts red from the heart to praise and to show loyalty unto God. In another sacrificial rite mentioned in the same book, the victim is burned alive. This was a more dignified ceremony in which prisoners and sinners were not allowed to participate. Only the clergy could be sacrificed. Similar to burning at the stake, no comparable rite can be found in religious practices nearby. It may have some connection with the main deity being a sun god. Even though this religion extols redemption, it brings to mind a dark and cultish history. That sucks. This woman on freaking eat is who only eat potatoes. Wait, the rest, uh... Yeah, I think rabbit meat specifically. That's interesting. I wonder why rabbit meat specifically. Heather, what are you looking at? Handles uh, didn't light themselves. An item here I could take? There's like things here, but I don't think I can take any of them. Maybe I gotta come back here. I think the deal with rabbit is that there's basically no fat and just eating a diet of lean protein malnutrition. Oh. I, I wouldn't want to eat rabbit. Rabbits are... Like, bunnies are too cute for me. I, I, I would feel... I would feel too sad. I would find... I would find any way to not eat. <laughs> I would be the worst farmer because... Uh, I could not raise animals knowing that, like, the animals will die be for me to eat. Like, I, I don't think I could... I don't think I could bring myself to do that as like a, a a city slicker my parents had my parents had chickens and like one of the most like traumatizing experiences was like one of the chickens dying of this like really bad disease and i was like i like cried for days over it i'm i'm too much of a i'm too much of a weenie i need to like if I, if I ever like get meat, I always like, it has to be, com the, the butchering process has to be completely abstracted from me. And it just like, I just have to like, my, my brain has to think that the meat just like came from some room at the back of like Safeway. Even though, yeah, like, and I just like have to like not think about just the, the process in which meat is made.
or else I just like can't eat it. Which is like I don't know, probably a good. I'm not a, I'm not super vegetarian nearly as much as I used to be. I just like try to not eat meat when I can now. Uh but honestly, like probably the most healthiest I felt was when I wasn't eating a lot of meat. I just felt way less bloated. Uh one got kidnapped by a hawk. Raccoon trying to Oh, you have chickens right now? One got kidnapped by a hawk, we think, and a raccoon tried to steal another. That, yeah, that actually, hold on. Yeah, I'm busy beat. That happened with my parents' chickens, too. Uh, half of them just got, like, just by, like, mountain lions and shit. Sometimes I'm like, maybe I really should be a vegetarian because I don't think I could ever kill an animal myself. Yeah, like I've had friends who are just like who have said like if you were really hungry you would you would kill an animal to survive. And I mean, I don't I guess maybe, but at the same time I I would pro I would try to I would probably try to not do that because whenever like an animal I've seen has died, it's been horrifying to me. Cause I'm, I'm like a, I guess, I don't know, I'm a baby or whatever. Sometimes, uh, my, my granddad lived in on turkey farm and he used to tell me turkeys are super dumb and they drown in, the, in rain all the time. I've, I've heard that before that they just like look up when it's raining and then they just drown. I would simply not be in that situation. Yeah, Zerno, see Zerno, that is, that's the correct answer. Is to just not be in that situation. <laughs> I would, uh, and if I get in that situation, I'll, I'll worry about it then. I'll, I try not to eat meat every, because of the cholesterol. Yeah, no, it's, Yeah, meat is not the healthiest thing. No matter what people do. There's a memo here on the chart. Dr. Midkiff, please use extra caution with the patient in room 312. He should still have his he should still have his religious freedom here in the hospital, but he shouldn't push his faith on others. I'm a victim too. Oh wait, shit. Rumor has it he got here by stabbing someone over a religious dispute. Please be careful. R. Crosby. Yes, it looks like the rumor is true. According to the head nurse, I do think he's a good person otherwise, though. Easy to deal with. Huh. Okay. So we gotta go to 312. We gotta figure out what's going on there. Also, people could kill an animal and not know how to cut it up and end up killing themselves trying to cook it. Yeah, I mean, that would probably be me. I probably would survive, but I'm likely not going to be in that situation. <laughs> yeah, I had these chickpea nuggets from Starbucks today. Ooh, chickpea nuggets. How was it? Oh, I can't leave. That's the front door. I think I went through all of these doors, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna try to go to the third floor. Three, one, two. <clears throat> I want, I really like, uh, I don't know, when, when I decided, when I was vegetarian, probably one of the nicest things was learning how to cook without meat. Um, and just learning a lot of, like, vegetarian recipes. Because now, like, even though, like, I still will eat... I only really eat meat when I, like, go out to eat, like, at a restaurant or something. But learning how to cook really good meals without meat is really nice. Because uh, cooking without... 
cook, like cooking with meat can just feel very uh inconvenient because it's like you have to you have to worry about all the stuff that meat has but if you don't have to worry about that then cooking just becomes a lot more convenient Yeah, I learned how. Yeah, yeah, on Busy Bee. I learned how to cook a bunch, like several different uh, Indian foods. Mostly just like a. Just some. Just. I think with like. I mean, Indian food, it's. I don't. I, like, there's a few things that I make that are like, I guess, quote unquote, traditional Indian. But I think learning more Indian dishes made me just like realize, oh shit, like it's really easy for me to just make like a dal or a curry or something uh because like it's just like vegetables uh ginger garlic and spices and i like maybe coconut milk i also use trader joe's soy chorizo trader joe's soy chorizo is really good it's really good yeah, yeah i i agree i like it better than regular chorizo it's less greasy, I think, is why I really like it. It still has that, like, greasy chorizo feel, but it's not, like, greasy, greasy. Not, like, meat greasy. It's just, uh, flavor, flavor grease. That, like, chorizo stains fucking everything type of greasy. This is the third floor, right? Okay. I gotta go to 312. Wait, am I on the third floor? Yeah, I am on the third floor. Oh, how do I get past this thing in the hallway? You don't got to worry about going on. Same with oat milk. I don't got to sniff to check if it's gone bad. Yeah, oat milk is, uh, I really like, I don't know. We usually have either oat milk or soy milk or almond milk. And I'm, I've had, I've. I think I've said before, I've been, I'm upset at how many people in my life have told me like, oh, like soy milk is, soy milk is gross. And like, you should never have it. And uh, whatever, like soy milk, soy milk sucks. And so is almond milk and oat milk. But like, uh, when I finally had like tried almond milk, it was really good. It was, and I liked it better than regular milk. And I was like, what the fuck? Why did everybody tell me for so long that this is bad? Oat milk is the goat milk. <laughs> I think each one is kind of better for different things, but like, they're all good. All right, I'm gonna go to the, oh wait, hold on. The examination room. There's something I have to do. Oat milk is really good. Uh, I think out of all of them, oat milk is the least nutritious, but like, I mean, that's fine. I'm, I gotta do something with this. What, what am I gonna do? Oh. Oh, I, did I never read this? I hope this will never come to any use. Maybe it's better you never knew. More than anything else, I fear the possibility of you going away far from me. But sometimes we have to tell the truth. That's why I'm writing this before I, I'm lost in death and oblivion. This is from her dad, uh, Harry. What happened back then? Oh, what happened back then? This has something to do with who you are. It all started 24 years ago. Coming back from a vacation, my wife and I found a baby on the side of the highway. Since we were childless, we thanked God for letting us meet this child, this girl. We took her home. Three years later, my wife died, and another four years later, 17 years ago, I came to Silent Hill. I heard the girl's pleas and took her with me, not knowing why she wanted us to go there. And it was there that the girl went away. Not that she actually went anywhere, nor did she die. Returned to the original self. That's what Dahlia... Uh, Gillespie said original self that's what the young woman burned by the mother by her mother as a sacrifice to God Aly Alyssa Gillespie 
half her soul escaped into those flames and went on to live a baby and that girl of mine of ours Seven years passed before the half a girl returned to Silent Hill and made Alyssa a whole again. Newly strengthened, she vowed to kill God. God, a fetus nestled into the sacrificial girl's womb, was summoned with the usual rites. This was Alyssa's wish, no matter what the outcome, even if her own existence were at stake. This is just like, I think, this is just a recap of like Silent Hill 1, right? Correct me if I'm wrong, any Silent Hill people... Like, I played Silent Hill 1, like, a while ago, and I, like, kind of half, like, yeah, like, half remember. But that wish was not granted. My interruptions meant she prayed instead of the girl's return. I alone couldn't bring her back. Dahlia did it. I only helped at the birthing ceremony. Bring God out of Alyssa. The newly born God wailed once and was dead. All from that girl's and possibly Alyssa's conscious resistance. That's not the end. After God had vanished in a glow of light, Alyssa reappeared and gave me a baby. She looked a lot like that girl so long ago. And then Alyssa was gone, dead. There was nothing I could have done to help. I simply clutched the baby to my chest and ran off. The whole thing felt like a dream, but I had proof that I wasn't the, that it wasn't. The girl was nowhere to be found, and in my arms, the baby. Now, 17 years have passed. It feels like only yesterday, and again, it feels like a million years ago. I confessed I had reservations at first about raising that baby. Could I love her? Her existence was thoroughly unexplainable. I thought she could be that young woman who snatched away my beloved daughter that led to sadness, anger. There were times when I put my arms around her tiny little throat. Jesus. Harry. Several times I even considered abandoning her. That was a ter That's what a terrible person I am. But I decided to raise her after all. I just couldn't seem to let her go. When she, when you looked at me, you laughed so. Even now, I can't forget about that girl. But I love you. I have no doubts about that. That's all I ask you to believe. To my precious daughter, Harry Mason. Wow. I didn't know my dad was going to kill me. This is the this is the future the Christo fascists want to birth evil god. Yeah. There's got to be something I can do in here. Uh maybe there's like a I could do from behind. Okay. Who would raise a random baby? Oh, I don't. I mean, maybe if you find a baby and you're just like, I wanted a baby, but like, and then there's like a baby. You know? I mean, if nobody else is gonna raise it and you wanted one. I'm gonna look at something. Uh, you get to listen to fun music. I'm just making sure, seeing what we do next. We gotta go to the second floor. Ow, 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 ow. Would I, uh, oh, you're asking would I raise a random baby? Sorry. Uh, no, no way. You know what, you know how expensive that would be? Babies are very expensive. And require a lot of attention. Yeah, 
Oh, I touched him. Which, wait, which locker is it? Is it the one with the blood in front of it? Oh, I tried that one. It was, it wasn't. What the? How is there a phone in here? <laughs> Grances. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Who's this? are you? <laughs> okay, thanks. Happy birthday, dear. Who are you? <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Hey, real, real you. fucking comedian. Happy 31st birthday. Is this Leonard? That's the murderer's name, not my name. I'm not your beloved Stanley either. He's underground now. His new name is Number Seven. <laughs> but don't worry about that now. It's time to celebrate your birthday. You've got me mistaken for someone else. Today's not my... I'm not mistaken. Today is your 24th birthday. And I have... Yay! Happy, happy birthday, Heather. To give pain or to receive it. You can have the one you hate the most. Happy, bu <laughs> happy birthday to you. But you're wrong. <coughs> Ew! Ew, ew, ew! It's my birthday! Leave me alone! Ew! Go away! Three cheers for Heather! This is the men's locker. Oh! Okay, I gotta go to the women's locker. Oh, Liz! Thanks for getting a capsule. <laughs> At Eliguro, it is better to deal with problems before they arise. Yeah, this problem was definitely not dealt with before it arise, whatever this is. <laughs> Something strange is cooped up in the locker. I think I'm safe, but I shouldn't get too close. Well, Heather, maybe you gotta deal with this problem before it arises. Uh... I don't think I could do anything. I don't know what I do here. I don't know what I'm supposed to... There's a paper bag here with nothing but garbage. Oh. Here? Oh, plastic bag! Nice. That kind of uh, come on, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta deal with this problem right now. Oh my god, this thing has a lot of health.
This thing is gonna kill me. Yeah, get his ass. Okay. I was gonna say, that doesn't make a ton of sense because like, don't, how do you know something is a problem before it arises as a problem? Also, oh, Eden. Thank you so much for getting a capsule. At Eden, please. Take the high road. Take the high road. <laughs> Is that just a picture of a mouth right there? I think it is. Oh yeah, I'm gonna do drugs, baby. Yeah, let's go. Take the high, we're gonna take the high road. 100% support that. Yeah, yeah, don't, yeah, just take the, don't listen to that, to the whatever, the other advice. Just take the high road. Think? Oh! Okay, well now we have the uh, plastic bag. I guess I go up to that one body, maybe collect that blood. I, don't know, I forget where the body was. Third floor? Oh! oh. Whoa! Hobo, thanks for giving me uh, 100 bits, thank you! And you get a capsule machine for doing that. Uh. Oh, you got a video. What video is it? I ain't doing Instagram. It's big time, Tommy. Here's my thought of the Please, day. Please, Tommy, give us Stop your thought of the shit. day. We're stuck in Silent Hill. And start doing shit because it's good for you. And remember, don't ever water yourself down if somebody can't take you at 100 feet. That's the old school way. Hey. Old school. Take it back to the old school. OS. Thank, thank you, big time, Thanks. Tommy. Never water yourself down. They can't handle you. That was the Bitcoin. Thank you. Yeah, Heather. No, don't don't water don't water yourself down. Oh, thanks, Enon. We're getting a capsule. Which was the first video game to be produced by development company Rare? Oh. A slalom, BRC Pro M, C Donkey Kong Country, <coughs> or D Battle Toads? Uh, Battle Toad? No, I bet I bet it's A or B. The a or answer B. is oh, it a was a. slalom. Nice, you got it. You got it like right, right on, right when it said the answer. So you, you get it correct. Good job. I actually, I don't know what that game is. I've never played it. <laughs> That's why Heather is the best for tag. She does shit old school. Got some blood. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh. That question is extremely misleading. Is that true? Because before they they were rare, they were ultimate. Uh, play the game. Same company. Oh, interesting. I actually I don't know anything about. I, I don't know a ton about Rare. I was gonna, if you asked me like, what was Rare's first game? I just would have been like, I don't know, a, a, some N64 game. They made a game for the ZX Spectrum. The Stamper Bros? Is that like the Mario Bros?
Oh, Chris and Tim stand for the founders. Oh. Everybody here needs to chill out. Hi, Dragon Cap Man. How are you? Sound effects are not so comfy. It's really funny. This 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 game has the most and like least comfy sounds in video games, in my opinion. Uh sorry, I'm like looking to make sure I'm going the right way. I don't want to get lost. Have to go to I have a bag of blood right now. Maybe I go to C what's in C4? Tired from work and kind of done with Elden Ring. Did you beat it? Or are you just like done with like done with Elden Ring? I haven't played Elden Ring in a while. I'm kind of uh I'm not super eager to like jump back in. Not because I don't like it, but because I I just like personally can't play a game for too long before like I just can't like handle it anymore. And that could be with like any game. There's very few games that I could just play a ton of and like never get sick of. Oh, here's a diary. Oh, what's going on here? The world is teeming with unnecessary people. What the fuck? God's decision that I fight as a knight of honor, as a protector of the seal, I sacrifice myself to the blood of criminals. How weird. Who wrote this? Some twisted individual, eh? I see this and I want to ask him. So you think you're one of the necessary ones? But it seems like I've heard this protector of the seal business somewhere before. Dude, fuck yeah, Heather. Dude, Heather's like just reached in immediately like, yeah, yeah, this is bullshit. Um, oh, I think I gotta do it. No. Like there we go. So it seems like rare was established. But in separate the game. Oh, okay. Slowland was part of, apparently a black box NES game, which means it was an earlier early one. To know that there was a third party black. <laughs> Ew! Oh no! Happy first birthday! Happy first birthday! What? Happy first birthday! But it's not my first. I'm not a baby. Unless if it's that's for somebody else's birthday. I should 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 hop back in Elden Ring. Last major patch was. Basically a massive buff to my specific build. Oh really? Wait, wait. Uh Caesar Therno, what what's your build? What was what did it buff? I'm not a baby so Shut up. Not true. Not a baby. Sorry, I didn't mean to. I don't want to be. I think this seems like something I could put. Uh, blood. Okay. All right, I just dumped it out here. Okay. Was that there before?
Oh. I don't think it was. Okay. I'm gonna save real quick. <laughs> Whoa, Keggy God! Thank you so much for the raid. Hi, everybody. Welcome. I'm I'm Jan's virtual. I'm a I'm a alien VTuber, and uh, I'm playing Silent Hill Three. It's a scary game, but it's uh, really good. Oh, what are you playing? Oh, Marbles on stream. Oh hell yeah! I love I love Marbles on. We played, I don't think I've ever played on Marbles on stream on here, but in the item label streams we have, we've played that a few times, at least once. Am I getting scared? Uh, not, not too scared, but it's just because I've played this game before and, uh, but I still really love this game. It's, uh, it's one of my favorites. Uh, right now we're in a, a hospital. Not very good hospital. There's a lot going on here. I don't think they're a good job. Keep a plate. But we poured some blood onto this uh, table, and this hole opened up in the ground with a ladder going down. So we're gonna go check it out. Wait, yeah. Thank you, God. Thank. Thanks again for the follow or the uh, not follow the the raid. I really appreciate it. How are you? How are you doing? How was Marbles on stream? That would kind of be a fun game to play one day. The rules of Silent Hill always jump into the dark hole. Usually, I mean, it 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 seems like you shouldn't do that, but usually, whenever people do it, like they usually come out alive, mostly. Yeah, where are you, Leonard? Now I can finally leave here. Now Claudia's ridiculous dream is over. Well, I guess it's time. Have we played it here before? Oh. The salvation of Maybe it was a while ago. Why must we reward even the unbelievers? What are you talking about? About our plans, of course. It's true. One must be chosen. Only we who hearken to the voice of I think this guy tricked us. Will be given the keys to paradise. Don't you think so? Oh, okay, wait, Future Skeleton Club. I, I remember it now. Go ahead and do whatever you want. What do you mean by that? <laughs> I mean that I don't think the way you guys do. Any part of that kind of paradise? You're Tell him, Heather. Believer. You deceived me. I didn't deceive you. We were both just wrong about each other. I thought you were a normal person. Keep and enjoy. Thank yeah. Thanks again. So have a good have a good dinner so or uh, lunch, whatever you're it. having. This is a this is an elaborate metaphor for when Heather has to like uh visit family for Thanksgiving and just talking to like uh talking to family members. The only thing you will get from me is a gruesome death. Oh my my controller's vibrating a bunch. Is that Leonard? <laughs> oh my it's god. Anyway. <laughs> the like the what what she did hands on her on her waist. God, I love Heather so much. What a queen. Alright, well I got the strap. I'm gonna be I'm gonna blast this guy. Oh oh no, he's underwater. 
I think I just I do think I just gotta gotta just shoot this guy, right? I just gotta kill him. Yeah, get him! Not so tough anymore when I got my when I got the fucking Uzi. Yeah, where's your god now? You, you, you dumb idiot. When are you gonna die? <laughs> Looks like Leonard has had a rough day. Yeah, he, he, he's having an even more rough one now that I came in. I came in with the, with the Uzi. Oh, Liz, I just, just realized that that was an Inland Empire quote. <laughs> easy win. Yeah, the action difficulty is on easy. Because, like, I'm, I... Action in these games are, like, the least interesting part for me. Leonard's not here anymore. I guess I should head back to the motel now. <laughs> I hope Douglas is okay. I just, I just, I just sprayed Leonard with a, I just What's mag dumped this? Leonard with like a Uzi and then Heather's after is like, oh, Leonard's not here anymore, huh? Weird. Anyway, I got this talisman. So powerful. I think I okay. So I got the talisman. I think that's just like I. That's all I need, right? Kind of leap, maybe. Had to deal with the the Trump loving. Yeah, that was. That's what that fight was all. That was about. Yeah, I could just go here. Did you send her to my father? Was that wrong? It's your fault that he... Oh, but surely it's a good thing. Uh, it means he was one of God's beloved, no? Those who mock God will never receive salvation. You'll go to hell, Vincent. <laughs> You'll never feel the joy of God's everlasting paradise. And you think God is going to save you? Ha! Huh. What do you know anyway? I know about the pleasures of this world. Oh yeah, what's and that, I Vincent? Find my happiness while I'm still here. You hated your father, didn't you? I saw the way he hit you he kicked you he made you cry oh it's so weird to me that vincent in in the silent hill movie vincent is the love interest such a weirdo Is nothing more than a child crying out for love. <laughs> That's why you're all alone. You don't understand. None of you do. What were they doing? Were they just like hanging out? All right, we did it. We big check mark on Brookhaven Hospital. 
Hell yeah. When we got the talisman. Uh So this might this actually might be a good time to end cuz uh I'm like I'm still feeling sick, but uh we made good progress. We we got to the uh we beat the hospital, we got the talisman. We mag dumped uh Leonard and yeah, we're on our way to killing God. We're going to we're going to get to him soon. So, and hopefully all of you guys will be here when we do. Thanks, thanks so much for stopping by. And thanks, Keki God, I don't know if you're still here, but thanks for the raid. I really appreciate it. Uh, shout out to my patrons. You should be getting your shirt soon, I think. I think they're gonna be send sending out soon. Uh, also, yeah, join. Uh, you can like follow me on, or go to the, oh no, wait, don't use that Discord. Use a uh, uh, minmo dot club to join the our Discord, which is fun. And also, oh, if you want to follow me on Twitter, you can. Anyway, yeah. Um, on Sunday, I'm playing. Uh, I think I'm starting at 6 p.m. on Sunday, but I'm going to be playing a World War II game with a friend, and I'm gonna be eating the MRE that got sent to me in the mail. I'm pretty sure by Future Skeleton Club, if I had to guess. It was by Anonymous, but I think it's from Future Skeleton Club. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna try out the MRE, and I'm gonna give you like a, a review of the military ration. <laughs> a review of the military ration. I said that kind of weirdly. But yeah, it'll be, uh, it's, I think the flavor is, uh, shit, what is the flavor? I don't know. I, oh, oh, sorry, it's, I think it's like beef ravioli or cheese ravioli. I forget, but it's gonna be, I, I'm really excited to try it. Hopefully I don't die, uh, but we'll see. Anyway, thanks everybody. Let's go it's online right now. Oh, we're gonna we're gonna go raid uh Bulb. He's streaming Dr. Muto. Wait, what's Dr. Muto? Oh! Wait, hold on. I think I might know what this is. Let's go over there and see. Alright, bye everybody. Talk to you all soon. Have fun with Bulb.